today on that Kelty Guy Drywall School, I'm going to show you how the pros tape drywall flat joints like recessed joints and butt joints. So stick around. Hey, welcome to that Kelty Guy 3 Minute Drywall School where we teach you drywall skills in about 3 minutes. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button now. All right, now we're at the stage we've done the pre-filling. Now we're ready to tape it. You could do hand taping, banjo, the tape buddy, or a bazooka. Now in a previous video, I did a, I showed where you can tape with the tape buddy. But if you want to know the simplest way to tape and the cheapest, check that video out. So I'm going to go ahead and set this up here. So this is the pump that fills it up. <clears throat> this is called the gooseneck and it's made especially for this. You'll see it just fits right down in there. There's a little filler nozzle right here that just goes into the end of the bazooka or the gooseneck and it rests in that little cradle. Then we put the joint tape on here and we run it down through the slide and you can see it comes out the bottom. We're ready to go. There's air in here. We want to pump this until the air comes out. There it is right there. Okay, when you're taping with these tools, you want it thinner than regular. This, if I was using this by hand, you can see it's pretty soupy. It would run right off my knife. So you want to thin this down a little extra for when you're running it through these tools. So we put this on here. I put my finger in the top here and we pump. You'll feel when the piston comes up to the top here. So first thing I do when I'm taping is I tape the butt joint and get all those taped and then come back and do the recesses. And then the final step is the angles. In this video, we're just going to tape the butt joints and the recess joints. And we open this valve here, this wheel to this, to this cable and it starts turning. So as this wheel turns, it pulls the mud up. We just put it against the wall here and putting de decent pressure. We get about three inches from the top and cut it. So I'm gonna wipe this down. Let's see, I'm gonna wipe this one down with this eight inch knife here. So you wanna clean, clean out the upper angle again. Leave that nice and square, that wipe down. Okay, so now we're gonna do the flat or the recess here. Now you notice right at the top, the tape's not sticking out. All you do on this thing is just pull up on this slide and the tape starts coming out. But if you go too far, you just get this big dry spot. So I like to, I'm gonna pull it down a little bit more again. And I like to just kind of leave it in there sometime and just put it up here and start rolling and then start pushing the tape out and you get mud on there. You can probably see a nice coat of mud ready to go. So let's go ahead and tape this recess joint. Okay, you want to slow down when you come into the angle at least a little bit. And there's two reasons for that. One is this has to be stopped when we cut or it'll jam. So we stop, cut, push it on in, and we're good to go. So now we're ready to wipe these two down. Now you don't want to go too far because this tape will get kind of soggy and stretch. So generally depends on your skill. For this video, this is plenty. You want to start somewhere away from the end. It could be in the middle or at least 30% down the, the length of it. So we're gonna start right here. So when you start seeing that, it's time to wipe your knife. Hey, if you wanna increase your learning power a thousand percent, be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that thumbs up. After you subscribe, look for that bell click the bell and you'll get notified of all the videos. All right, the room is taped, all the flats, the butts and all that. We'll put a time up here how long it took me. Now keep in mind, this is the first time I've run these tools in over 25 years and it still went pretty fast. 
So now we need to let it dry. Usually 24 hours is a good time, depends on your humidity. We're in a really dry climate here in Colorado. Outside right now, I think it's 20% when it's not raining or something. So it'll dry overnight for us, but make sure it's good and dry and then you're ready to start coating. I'll do separate videos on how to coat with the mud boxes and by hand, etc. So check those videos out. Be sure and subscribe if you want to follow this series and click that bell icon. That way you get notified each time I put out a video and give us a thumbs up. That'll make sure YouTube likes our videos enough to show it to other people so I can help them too. Hey, thanks for stopping by my channel. Look forward to seeing you on that next video. Take care, everybody.